is Catelyn. I have Dennis Yu with me here from Blitzmetrics. Thank you so much, Dennis, for taking your time. Thanks, Catelyn. We're actually here at the Traffic and Conversion Summit in San Diego. It's just beautiful here. I mean, a lot more beautiful than New York and all these other places. So it's California. Everybody knows that. So I have Dennis with me here. He's, he's gonna, you're going to speak in about an hour, right? Yep. And um, I really wanted to have him and ask him a couple of questions. Uh, one, for the people that do not know you, just briefly introduce yourself, and then I'm just, just going to dive in right into the questions. Yeah, I'm the CTO of Blitzmetrics. People know us for running Facebook ads. I used to run analytics at Yahoo, so we build a lot of funnels and sequences to do ads and analytics. Great jobs for young adults, as you probably know. Too. Yes. So, Dennis, um, the first thing that I would like to ask is, Let's say we have two people in mind. We have the complete beginner that doesn't use Facebook, which is really not that often of a thing in 2018, but let's just assume that. You'd be surprised. I mean, still, I mean, compared to five years ago, it's completely different, right? Um, and we have the, the kind of the average, the, the person that's doing some Facebook ads, maybe doing quite well, but not really knows where to go next. What advice would you give to both of those people? Let's just take the beginner first. I give the same advice to both of them because most of them don't even have a funnel with remarketing audiences. We focus right. on the fundamentals. And when the pros come to our workshops, for example, we just had our workshop, we charged $7,500, it was last week. Even the people that have spent millions of dollars on Facebook ads, they're doing the same thing, which is they're building a three by three remarketing grid. So what you does got that nine mean? videos. So you got a right. funnel from awareness to engagement to conversion. So you have three awareness videos talking about your why. Mm -hmm. You have three engagement videos talking about your how. Mm -hmm. And you have three conversion videos talking about your what. In other words, you tell a story with your why. You educate people, sharing your knowledge, and checklist one, two, three, four, five is how you do something, right? That, that's your how. And your what is the product or service that you sell. And when someone engages with you with you on the how and the why, then you remark it down the funnel. Right. right. And so most people don't do that. And you have to build enough audiences at the top that you can remark it down to the second stage and then remark it from the second stage down to conversion. Almost everybody on Facebook is running ads trying to drive a direct conversion, mm -hmm. which we understand, but it's not converting well for them. And the reason why is they're not doing remarketing audiences one step above to build those touches. Mm -hmm. And then you have big brands that are selling potato chips and soda water and Some you know, back and goods that, and that kind of stuff. And they're going after just brand. So they're only at the top of the funnel with their clever TV commercials but they're not tracking it all the way down to the conversion. So either way, you have the same issue of people that are playing at the top or the bottom of the funnel, and it's not whether they're sophisticated or they're not sophisticated, it's what stage of the funnel are they at. Right, so it's just the, the summary of that would be that no matter what you're doing, you, you should take a, a holistic approach to the whole funnel and make the best out of each and every stage to be able to take, get the maximum results. And the only way to do that successfully on Facebook in 2018 is you have to make one minute videos. Right. There's just no way around So tell that. me about that because I think that's an interesting idea. There's of course a lot more that you can do, but that's a s simple idea that people can take and actually implement, which is important, right? So yeah. what is a one minute video? Well, it's like a video we have here. It's not a professional video with all these fancy TV cameras and crews, you know, $50,000 professional movie makers. It's literally pointing the phone or the camera at your face, having some decent lighting and sound and telling a story, you know, showing who you are interviewing a customer or a partner and you're sharing expertise talking about your product and what does it cost and why you know why is it awesome instead of just selling right it's everything that is is the exact opposite right of a commercial because people know what a commercial looks like and they're too smart to click on a commercial the average watch time on Facebook for ads for videos is six seconds right and when we do this using our storyteller technique which is easy to do it's not a secret our watch times are up in the 15 second range which right. allows you to remarket. We want to remarket. Remarket is right. Those if they're in an audience, you're going to push them down to the next segment, right? Mm -hmm. Just like you know, they come to your web page, you remarket. So we like to remarket off of a 10 second view. If the average watch time is six seconds, then you're only keeping five to 10 percent of people from the initial impression all the way down to 10 seconds. So that's why video doesn't work for most people, right? But you've got to create one minute videos where people actually engage and stay past 10 seconds. That means you have to build a hook in the beginning. You have to capture their attention. You have to say something interesting. You have to tell a story. You have to create value. You can't do, like we've, we've done this a lot of times. We, we come in, we'll see that they've got their bumper, their company name coming all the way across. And right. They'll which say, is, hi, I'm Catalan. I'm at TNC. They don't care about that, right? right? You've got to start with something interesting. 
So it's it's you gotta let go of the ego and get right to the hook so that people will pay attention and then you can say stuff and then yeah. it matters. Otherwise, people don't care. I, I understand that. That's interesting. And regarding to your talk today, so you're gonna you're gonna speak in about an hour or so. Um, it's called I think 31 Facebook funnels. Um, so what I would like to do is, can you give a sneak peek into one or those or one or two of those funnels to people watching? Yeah. So you guys may have heard of the dollar day technique, which is you you can use a dollar. To target pretty much anybody by where they work, by their job title, right? You know, by really, really narrow interests. So, if you let's say we're at traffic and conversion some here in, in right. San Diego, and I want to retarget the people that are also that are working at social media marketing world. Maybe I want to speak at their conference. Maybe I, you know, I just want to reach those attendees. So I could take a snippet of our video here and I could retarget or not retarget. I could target that against people. Let Let's say you know Ryan Dice is a friend of mine. And I interview him, and then I target that against people that work at Social Media Examiner, that work at Digital Marketer. That's what we call pseudo retargeting because maybe these people haven't, maybe they're not in a remarketing pool because they haven't been to my website. But they, they kind of were me. because they're so but, relevant. But because they know who Ryan Dice is, because he's the one who runs this conference, and they see pictures of he and I, they see interviews of he and I together, it's pseudo remarketing because I'm what I'm doing is I'm piggybacking on that existing trust. Right. That's interesting. So that would be one. What would be another one? Another Facebook funnel. So if you tell a why story, so it could be something about who you are. You're not trying to sell anything. A why story could be, you know, when I was eighteen I dropped out of high school because I wanted to be a professional athlete. So you is want that true? To, that's true. So you want to hear the you might want to hear the rest of that, right? You're not just going to abandon after a couple seconds, which is what happens on Facebook, right? Yeah, which is so what happened now, by the way. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you're interested, right? To get your attention, then I'm going to take that. I'm going to remark it into my how. So, for example, I, if I continue that story, I dropped out of high school. I wanted to apply to Nike. They rejected me, and eventually, I learned how to be a digital marketer. And then Nike hired us as a client. Right. Right. And. How do they hire us? Why do they hire us? Well, because we demonstrated that we could do certain things for Adidas. And here's what we did for Adidas, right? One, two, three, four, five. I'm sharing my expertise on how we built dashboards, on how we tuned Facebook ads for Adidas, right? Right. So now, the, the why, which is my story, I've sequenced to the how where I'm sharing my expertise, right? I'm not selling you anything. I'm, I'm showing you how I actually do it, right? And then the what is, I also have this packaged into a course. I also sell this as consulting. You right. can buy this for five hundred dollars, buy it for one thousand dollars, whatever it is. And now I've sequenced you from why to how to what. Now, if I came at you immediately and I said, "Hey, we sell Facebook advertising courses. Hey, we also have an agency and we run Facebook ads for a lot of well-known companies," you say like, "Whatever, that's an yeah. advertisement." Oh, hi, I'm Dennis. I'm the CTO of Blitzmetrics. That's that's how everyone else opens up. But if I open up the story, you're like, "Oh, that's interesting," and I talk about why. That's meaningful to me. And then how I was able to overcome, because all of us, we have challenges. Any kind of marketer that's going to hire you, any kind of business right. going to hire you, they have challenges and they want to know whether you have been through those challenges and, and whether you understand. Mm -hmm. right? So when you lay out what you've done, it's what happens like in a Rocky movie right. or a Harry Potter movie, right? Where some, you know, you're with the protagonist and something bad happens, you know, they get beaten up or whatever. And at the end, they win, this big win. And so you feel the win when they win the same thing. You're going to use that same arc. It's a Hollywood three-part story arc. You're going to use that in your storytelling and you can use that three by three grid on why, how, and what. You have three, three, three videos. You have nine videos. You're going to remark it down and across in these videos to move people from why, how, what, mm -hmm. which is also awareness, engagement, conversion, which is also the same as know, like, and trust. Right. So for people to convert, they have to trust you, but they can't trust you until they like you and they can't like you until they know you. So you have to move through that same thing. And that's that's why the original question, you know, what would you say to the beginner Facebook marketer, you know, to the, or to the advanced expert Facebook advertiser? Right. It's the same thing. They're not building sequences in this way. The majority of your traffic the majority of your effort should be in building evergreen content against these funnels. And they're not doing it. We've taught these workshops hundreds of times on Facebook ads. People aren't doing it. Mm, interesting. All right. That's it. Guys, hope that's helpful. Um, and you can find more about Dennis. We're going to have links and everything else so you can check them them guys out. I think they're they're doing such an amazing job. We're also an agency and doing all those other things. But I really respect what you're doing and the way you guys approach it systematically. I think that's the right way to do it. And I think that's the right way to deliver sustainable quality and results to clients. That's what we talked about in our call a year ago. Yeah. So fascinating. Respect Dennis and all he does. And 
follow him as well. He's such an amazing, he puts out a lot of amazing content on all his platforms. Thank you so much, Dennis. Thank you, guys. Yeah.